So how can you loop your posts on social media like Twitter or Facebook for free? Um, there are amazing services out there like Buffer, Hootsuite, and MeetEdgar, but after a while, and if you want to upgrade, they all charge some kind of monthly fee. But if you're strapped and you're on a budget and you're just testing this blogging thing out or building your own business and you're still not making an income from it, you would probably want to try this out for free first before you spend $50 a month posting things on social media. So how do you do it for free? And here's the step-by-step -step guide. I decided to make a video instead of doing screenshots because that would take forever. So how do you post on social media for free? So I'll have little steps here and I'll go to um, my slides here. Okay, so first thing you have to do is we're going to set up a recipe in IFTTT. And I know I'm not supposed to call it IFTTT because that's just not fun to say IFTTT, but it's called if this, then that. So you set up a recipe. If something happens, then something else is going to happen. So what we do here is you can go into if this and that, create an account, it's all free, it's fantastic, and you're going to create a recipe between your Google Calendar and whatever social media account you want to post to. So what I'm using here is Twitter. Um, I use Twitter mostly to connect to other people, reach out and communicate, but I like to post some of my own things on there because most of the time when I sign in on my phone, I'm just retweeting other people's awesome content. So sometimes I like to have some of my own things be posted on there as well. So what this recipe does is if an event that has the hashtag of Twitter starts on my Google Calendar, it's going to post um, onto my Twitter account. So let's set up that recipe step by step. So what you click here is create a recipe. So if this, then that, or this is our Google Calendar. There you go. Secondly, we want to create an event from when a search starts. So IFTTT, or if this and then that, is going to look, and if an event starts within 15 minutes, it's going to look for that hashtag and then post your event onto your social media account. So click event from start. Here's our little keyword or phrase. What I used was Twitter. You can use whatever you want to, but this one made sense to me. Create trigger. And then our that would be obviously our social media account. Tweets. All right. And I selected, we post a tweet with an image. All right. There's a couple other things you can do. So you can test this out and play around or just follow this step by step. All right, so so in your title text, you want to change this to the ingredient of description. Add that. And then in your image URL, you want to change this to the description or the ingredient of where. So description and where. All right, and then just click on Create Action. All right, so it's just reviewing what you just did. Now you can create your recipe. Awesome, so now I have duplicate recipes because I just created the exact same one, so I'll turn this one off later. Um, so the next step to do, now that we have our recipe created, and if this, then that, remember your hashtag, Next step is to populate your CSV file because this will mass upload everything to your Google Calendar. You could do it one by one, um, but I'm all about saving time and I love spreadsheets. So I drop all my content and all my posts that I want to populate onto my Twitter account into a spreadsheet and from there that will then be uploaded to my Google Calendar. So let me show you what my Google Calendar looks like. I created a special calendar called Social Auto Posts for Start a Mom Blog. And this calendar shows all my tweets that will be going out today. So this is all 
my stuff, all the blue ones, and all the different colors, you can decide the colors as you wish, is um, when I actually talk about somebody else's article and I try to promote them. So I try to have a mix, and this also helps me promote my other blogging friends. So we help each other out. Okay, so if you were to add each one individually, it would take some time. But you can do this quicker with a CSV file. So here is the file. This is what this looks like. And I will upload a, co a, a copy of this so that you can follow the, the format exactly because it is a little finicky. But if you follow the format, it's fine. So here are your headers, your subject, start date, start time, end date, and time. All day event is just false. Your description and your location. So what's important is in your subject, this will not be shown up on your post. That's going to be posted onto your Twitter account or whatever social media account you chose. Um, but this hashtag is what IFTTT looks for. So be sure to include that hashtag in there. And I included a little bit of a title just so that I know which post I am talking about. Your start date can be any date you choose. Your start time would be when you want to post this. End time, don't worry too much about this because IFTTT is only going to look at your start time. So as long as your end time is just a couple minutes after that, that's perfectly fine. It's not an all-day event. Your description, this is what is going to show up in your tweet. So this is the text. Um, here I included 10 practical steps to minimalism and I included a link that will link back to my blog. So that's your tweet content. Then your location is your image. So if you have a featured image on your URL link that is fine to use, then just include your URL link and Twitter will then grab your featured image from that post. If you have a specific image, that you want um, IFTTT to grab, then put that image URL in here. For me, I have um, featured images that are just fine and work well with Twitter, so I just put the blog URL in here. All right, so this took some time to set up, but it was much quicker than going in to my Google Calendar and adding each one of these step by step, because here I can just copy paste, super easy. I mean, look at that. That's 38 little lines there that would have taken a very long time to put in individually. All right, so I will post this onto the blog post as well, so you can just download a copy. What you have to make sure is on your start dates, make sure your format is in, there you go, short date, there you go, and your end date as well is in format short date. Your start times is in time format, and your end time is in time format. This just makes sure that, or enables Google to import this file correctly. And always remember your hashtag. So once you save this as a CSV file, not CVS, I always mispronounce that. That's the store. <laughs> anyway, okay, so you save it as a CSV file. Then you go back into your calendar, and <clears throat> here in your My Calendars, you do a little drop down and you go to Settings. And what you do is, where is it? All right, what you do is go into your calendar settings and click on Import Calendar. You're going to choose your CSV file here. And you're going to be make sure to import it to your social media or whatever you call it, that spe special calendar that will host all your um, your posts that you want to tweet or post or put on Facebook or whatever. So I'm not going to redo this because this will actually import all those events again and then I'll have duplicate tweets. So choose your CSV file and click import and the little um, confirmation text box is going to say, oh, thank you very much. I have imported 38 events for you or however many lines you had. So great, fantastic. So that was much quicker than putting them in one by one. So then you can go back to your calendar and you will see all your events on your calendar. 
Then, the only tedious part that you have to do, but keep in consideration you're saving lots of money per month. This takes a little bit of initial time spent, but this is the coolest part. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. So, it would be cool to know, okay, well, I have to come in weekly and, and add all these events, or I can do this once. And what you should do is then, let me go back to my slide deck to show you. Okay, so we've populated our CSV file, did our mass upload. Now we'll repeat all events. As said, we repeat all events. All right, so we go back into here, and you click on the events that we just imported. So this is my tweet to what mommy does. She's a great blogger. And I like how she um, has 13 ways to make money as a VA blogger. So what you do, this will be what you're seeing. Um, what you have to click on is this little repeat box right here. So you click on that repeat box and a window is going to come up that shows, okay, how frequently do you want to repeat this? So if you like what mommy does very much, you repeat it weekly, like I'm here. If you don't like it very much, you repeat it monthly or however often you wish. If you don't want to spam her, maybe you can do it monthly. I mean, for example, if it's a big blogger, you probably don't want to hashtag or um, mention them daily. So um, you can decide at your discretion how often you want these tweets to repeat. And your own tweets as well. All of my own tweets I repeat weekly and most of the ones that I promote other people and I repeat weekly as well. Um, so then you just click weekly and you say it never ever ends. So this means even if I go on vacation or I have another baby or I am take a break for a couple of days from blogging and social media and just go lay on the beach. These events will never end. This will continue forever. Alright, so click on done and click save. And you can change the event colors. So for my own tweets, I usually keep them as blue. So I know, okay, I'm just mentioning myself. Very egocentrical. Or if I mention somebody else, I have different colors here. I hit save. And then you can see, okay, this tweet, you can see that I just change it. Here it is. Here's what mommy does. Here's what mommy does. See, every week. I'm clicking on the next week's and it's still there. All of this is still there. I'm in September. I'm going to October. All of this is still there. So you can see some events are showing and some go away. See, last week. So this event is where I mentioned Pat Flynn. So I don't want to mention every single week. So I think I do it. Once a month, I mention Pat Flynn because I don't want to bother him. He's much bigger than I am. All right, so there you can see I am in next year. I am in February, and my events are still repeating. So, I mean, I can always come in here and change them, and if I feel that maybe the text is too long or this post nobody likes, I can just come in here and delete it, and it will never show up again. But this is pretty fantastic. All right, so what's my next step? All right, you want to test it? Let's test this automation and prove to you that it works. All right, we'll go back to today. We are now here. So let's do, do a little hashtag, or hashtag Twitter, not F Twitter, hashtag Twitter test. Our where is our image that we want to pull in. So let's choose a URL that I like. This is my ebook, so obviously let's just take this. This is fine. This is the URL. I go back to your Google Calendar events and then check out this ebook. All right, this will be within my tweet. That's my tweet content, and this is my image. So if I have a featured image that I'm fine with, put that into your where column. And if you do your upload, that's going to be automatically. Your location becomes your where. All right, and obviously I want to post this on my social media calendar. And I want to start at 7. Let's just make sure this works because it's 7.24 right now. So we'll do 7.28. Just make sure that it's going to show up. And then you could repeat it if you want to. For this example, I don't, I don't need to. I'm just going to show you that it works. So hit save. So there is my little Twitter test.
So now, just because I want it to run right now so you guys can see it, here is my recipe. And I'm going to say, check now. Check this recipe now. Okay, recipe checked. Hopefully, it is showing up here now. If I refresh my Twitter account, there you go. Check out this ebook. And there's the featured image that I, I like. It's huge. My goodness, that is awesome. So it works. It's fantastic. It loops. And I'm not paying $50 for any kind of service to do this for me. I know this video was a little long, it's 15 minutes, um, but this is the step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, and it's um, it's not that hard, but I figured that a video would be a little bit easier to follow than screenshots, because there are a couple things that you can miss. So please comment below if this helped you. Even just a one or two word comment would be fantastic, just so I know that me getting up super early and making this little video while I'm a tad bit sick, was helpful to you. So thank you so much. Please share this with your friends if you want them to save money too and if you want to be a good friend. Otherwise, if you want them to spend lots of money on um, services, that is fine as well. All right, thank you so much. Have a fantastic day.